Hi guys, it's me Malcolm, the movie wizard of Oz himself, and I'm here to discuss a review of one of my favorite movies in 2013 in honor of this actor's birthday today, per Percy Jackson, Sea of Monsters. Yes, yes, today is Logan Lerman's birthday today. He's turning 30 now. So I want to do this review in honor of him. I mean, I mean, he is, I always do admire him in that, in that movie I first saw him in, Hoot. You know, the one with, the one with Luke Wilson and involved those burring era owls. You know, I even did a review on that one as well. So, where was I? So this movie talks about, about Percy and, and his friends, along with his brother Tyson, played by Douglas Smith. <laughs> who have to travel, travel to find the legendary Golden Fleece in this awesome sequel. I I gotta say, this movie was quite epic. It was very enjoyable. It really brings my love, love to Rick Riordan's books. Look so. And we get to see some new characters like Clarice, daughter of Zeus. <laughs> was quite a quite a bitch in this movie. Okay. We even get to see see Dionysus play by Stanley Tucci or or, or the campers call him Mr. D. Okay. Oh and we get to see See Nathan Fillion who plays who plays Hermes, the messenger god. <laughs> what are the odds he would play play that god? I love love it. Oh yeah. Remember Yvette Nicole Brown? So let's go. Pull your bumper. Well, get this. Fun fact, she also played played one of the Grey Sisters. She is a fin very funny woman. Love her. So, so yeah. We, we get to see some awesome action, action in this one, just like his predecessor. But some of the scenes were kind of short, and this movie was was short with its run time though. So, I could see why it wasn't really much of a successor to its predecessor. But still, I love it. it. I even, it has some awesome scenes though. How, how Percy, Annabeth, and Tyson were sucked inside Charybdis, the guardian of the sea, mo sea of monsters. <laughs> Or how they is, or how they rode on that hippocampi to Luke's to Luke's liat. I just love that hippocampi. Fun fact: in the ma in the in the books, it goes by. It has a name. It goes by Rainbow. Kind of fits with all the colors it has. And we get to see, see how, see per, Percy battling against Kronos. But I have to admit that 
that battle was kind of half full. Yeah. It had, I did have mixed feelings about that. <laughs> but I really did love, love the ending, though. How it was the exact same back in the novels. How after they used the Golden Fleece, they... It turns out it was a lot more powerful than, than you, than bring back not only the tree, but one of their, one of their friends who happens to be Talia, daughter of Zeus. And, and how they just, and how it just ended in a cliffhanger like that. Oh, but damn, I was so I was so looking forward of seeing seeing the next movie based on the third book, The Titan's Curse. If all of the kings had their queens on the throne, we would pop champagne. But unfortunately, they unexpectedly canceled the rest of the series. Damn, huh. that was quite the first of of canceling the whole series after two movies, just two, and I really did love them both. But say la vie, at least we get to see see a new version of it on Disney Plus. I hope I hope it does does it justice. So. So for my score for Percy Jackson, Sea of Monsters, I think I'll give this one quite an eight. Definitely an eight. I, it was pretty, I do find the movie quite epic, quite awesome, quite action packed, but it was kind of short. So it really fall, falls short. So yeah. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe and stay healthy. Bye! Yeah!